So in my house, British comedies were commonplace. The Vicar of Dibley, Faulty Towers, Black Adder, Last of the Summer Wine, Keeping Up Appearances, Are You Being Served? These are all shows I've grown up with and know fairly well, mostly because my dad would always watch PBS every Saturday night and catch pretty much all of these shows. Most of these shows I still watch today and I think they hold up pretty well. I mean, I'm, I'm particular to Faulty Towers, uh, especially because in high school, I actually bought a book version of every single episode transcribed into script because I wanted to do it as a student-directed play. So clearly, I'm a fan of British comedies. And a couple years ago, a friend of mine recommended IT Crowd to me. And after watching it, I, I really liked it. The IT crowd is one of, if not the best television comedy I've ever seen. The IT crowd is a wonderfully absurd show about an IT department in a major corporation. As we see each of the major characters um, trying to achieve whatever goal they set out for themselves in each episode. Whether it's Jen trying to prove a point or trying to impress someone, or Roy trying to get laid, or trying to impress someone, or Moss. Well, um, Moss is just Moss. Here's the plan. A plan. Let me put on my slightly larger glasses. <laughs> okay, hit me. And this is where most of the comedy and conflict come from. These characters doing the most absurd thing that no normal person would do. And it's fantastic and it's incredibly well done. But what keeps the show great is its pacing and punchline for jokes. The IT crowd uses an assortment of ways to tell a joke, whether it's a line, something simply funny someone says, or they just flat out reference something. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> well, I'm the boss, head honcho, el numero uno, Mr. Big, the godfather. Lord of the Rings, the Bourne identity. Other times the joke is reactionary due to something outrageous that happens, which in this show is pretty much every other minute. It's almost as if she doesn't know anything about computers. What? <laughs> we did. Oh, don't worry, that's why I always make two cups of tea. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, her not knowing anything about computers. What? But the true icing on the cake is the way the show quietly builds a joke at the start of the episode to where in the end you have this unbelievably funny payoff. Almost all my favorite jokes from IT Crowd work like this. Something is said funny in the middle of a scene, usually in the beginning of the episode. God, that's hugely impressive. Haven't you just had a baby? So they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> now do go on. And congratulations on getting an iPhone. Which at the moment is funny, but it plants a seed into your head for future events. <laughs> Flip! It's an iPhone! There's a flipping iPhone in the brain machine! <laughs> then it uses another joke from earlier in the episode to build upon another moment. Oh. Whoa. Too much information. What, that she had a baby? Oh. It's a, a natural part of life. It's not a natural part of my life, and I aim to keep it. To create a hilarious and unforgettable scene that you find funny because you've been subtly introduced to all of the elements that make that joke work. Where is it? Breathing. Push! Shut up! You can do it, boss. Mm. I hate you! Why are you saying that? I don't know. Stop talking! Mm. One last push! One, two, three, push! <laughs> And the show doesn't stop there. This happens throughout the entire series, multiple times. Every joke, every moment feels tailor-made to work with the episode, which I, I understand is a given in contemporary TV comedies. 
Yet you can tell with IT Crowd that there is so much care and time spent from the writers to make sure that every joke works. The show knows when to stretch out a moment, when to make that moment snappy, when to set it up, when to deliver. And this is why I believe the IT crowd is so brilliant and enjoyable to watch. I've seen the show countless of times, and every time I watch, I find something new in it. And if I don't, I just sit back and enjoy an expertly crafted comedy, laughing at the cleverness the show has to offer.